Oh, are we doing this now? All right, we've got the burning question in everybody's mind. How many tabs can you open up on the world's fastest computer? And this is a little bit odd, but this is also pretty interesting. I actually have an 8K TV that I use as my monitor. It does display a lot of tabs. So there may be some people out there who have this as their idea for the ultimate amount of tabs to have displayed. If this is your idea of a good time, can you see them? Can you see how small they are? Can you see how small they are? Then this video is for you. So this whole question came about because I asked my wife how she liked having tabs up and how many tabs, and I just kind of got curious. She has two monitors. They're both the same. They're both actually TVs also, but they do go good at 4K60, and they both synchronize with the remote at the same time, so it's nice to turn them on and off with one remote. But I asked her, and she said probably around 60, maybe sometimes 80 tabs. And I asked, do you remember all of that? And she said, yes, I know where the tabs are that I need to get to. Let me know in the comments below if that's you also. That's not me. I actually use bookmarks. Maybe I'm a boomer. Uh, maybe I'm just organized. But I use bookmarks, and I have a really nice hierarchy of where things are. If it makes it into my bookmarks, it's important. And I try to keep my tabs down to maybe 5, 10 max in a session, and close them out and organize them if there's important things that need to go into a bookmark at that time. So I look forward to reading what you have to say about that also. How many tabs do you have open? But this br brought on a question, and I was like, let's go to Twitter and ask on a poll, how many tabs do you have open? I was surprised at the amount of people that said they had many hundreds open. Somebody said that they spec'd a machine specifically to be able to have 200 plus tabs in a response to the poll that I ran on Twitter. And I came up with a little bit of a meme there for him also. And uh, you know, I thought it was pretty interesting when he said he was specking specifically for this. I thought, is this a thing? Shout out to you at Crewman Tech for being weird. My wife's computer is just an R5 3600. It's got 16 gigs of DDR4 3600. It's a very standard, lower end spec by nowadays standards build, and it does pretty good for her to have about 100 tabs open. Now, it does matter the composition of what you're browsing in your tabs, of course, how many tabs you would be able to have open. Some applications will use more memory as a result of just their JavaScript uh, footprint than others. And also you have a lot of browsers out there now that are optimizing for this. Chrome has an energy efficiency setting. Brave, which I use for its built-in uh, privacy features, does this as well. So this is the 7995WX build. I just put this together recently. You can check here for that video. And that link is in the description below. And this is a smoke and fast machine. The 7995WX, 96 cores, 192 threads. I've got 256 gigabytes of DDR5. That is at 6400 speed and a crucial T705 4 terabyte for the boot drive. And it is wicked fast. But would you need something this wicked fast? Is there a barrier that you're going to hit with the number of tabs that you have open? I think that actually is quite possible. I look forward to knowing what your builds are like and how many tabs you have open. I am gonna read and comment back on all of those comments down below. And we just crossed 6,000 uh, queued tabs. If you look and you see the memory that we're actually using right now, it's right around 55, uh, maybe 56 gigabytes. I've noticed as we go through the script uh, that I have written, and you might be wondering why I am showing you through the camera and not like a screen recording, the system is hung up uh, to the point where it is using everything for this apparently. Energy efficiency mode, I've not been able to figure out how to turn off and I really dislike it. So if you know how to turn off energy efficiency mode, uh, do tell me. And if you look at the script that I have here, I've found disable um, flag and that should allow us to not have the efficiency mode apply, but yet the efficiency mode is applying. The number of lines we've got here is 15,268. That is minus uh, three, so 15,265 uh, is the number of actual websites that we are opening up right now. And definitely, we're now at uh, 6,260. So yeah, it's not super fast to open them up with the way that I have this script. If you have a faster way to open them up, let me know. 
and this part of the process is single threaded. If you see the uh, CPU usage, it's right around 15%, 10%, but the network is not being used yet, nor is the disk until it finishes the script, gets all the threads counted up here. So that, that should stop once that count hits roughly 15,000 and something. Uh, and after that, it's gonna go ahead and then really blow out the disk and the network activity. So we're getting close to the 12,000 mark now. It's been running for quite some time. And just this past uh, epoch of 1,000, it's slowed down quite a bit. You can see that we are also about to cross, there we go, 80 gigabytes of RAM being used in the system. Currently, this is definitely besting what we saw from Linus, uh, which I think he had 6,400 or something like that. And this is definitely, we've outpaced that. So at this moment, I think I'm gonna go ahead and claim to have the largest amount of Google Chrome tabs uh, open at one time. As soon as these load, this is one thing that a lot of people have failed to do. Linus did not fail to do this, and I'm not gonna fail to do it either. Uh, a lot of people have not taken the time to show the functioning of the tabs after they fully load. So I am gonna make sure to show you guys that as well, because it is gonna be abysmal. It got right up next to uh, 14,350, which uh, I've seen this happen a couple times, and then it just drops down as far as the count, and then it'll go back up, and I, I've seen this come down, I've seen it go up, but it looks like it's coming down this time. It's taken a long time for it to get here. Many hours later, I came back and it had crashed. So what I'm gonna try instead is batching in a thousand at a time and see if I can grow it that way. It looks like 15,000 was just too many to do at once. It was weird, it got almost to 14,300 and then it just started coming down. The RAM started coming down, the count started coming down. No indication of what was happening, but the system had been pretty bad for a while there. So hopefully by changing this, we can get those to open up thousand at a time. And I did a test with a thousand before and it was actually pretty quick. So this might even be much faster than the many, many hours that I was taking the other way. Okay, so I have it broken out now into 15 files, about a thousand in each one. And we'll give it a shot. See if we can get it to all load up this way. The disk activity and the network activity both just kicked up there as well. I can hear the CPU starting to crank up, so it's gonna, it's gonna kick off here pretty quick. And loading a thousand at a time probably is a better way to go about trying this uh, to see whether or not you can push the limits of your system. 100 and some uh, megabits per second there on the network activity also. And at least it's responsive, so I can click off and come over here so we can kind of get this view also. And by running this, I can count the number of uh, tabs that we've got listed here. And that is 12,046 that we have currently loaded up. And things have gotten pretty sluggish. Uh, let me give you a quick rundown of what it's like on the uh, user interface side. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not fast, but it is functional. And what's really bizarre, what doesn't make any sense, honestly, is that this all seems to be working out just fine. You can fairly well use it. It's granite, like I mentioned, slow, but you can see I've got just an absolute tremendous amount of tabs up here, and these are all universities. Uh, I, there's like 9,000 universities I found a list of, and universities make a good candidate because most of the universities are gonna control their own IP address and not go through um, Cloudflare. D Cloudflare definitely um, uh, probably is raising some red flags. Over here, you can click on the arrow and it'll bring up a drop down. And from this, you can just phew, so much, so much, so many tabs. I mean, just scroll, 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 scroll. Just a tremendous amount of tabs. I mean, well, 12,000. Now, one thing that I think is pretty crazy here, let me minimize this again and pop up the Task Manager Explorer here. So on the Task Manager, I'm only using 40 gigabytes and barely using the CPU at all. Um, you explain it to me. 
I couldn't explain it to you because it doesn't make sense. Now, when I did try to load everything in uh, the other way, it was a much different scenario as far as the RAM utilization, as far as the lockup time that happened. So if you, for some reason, did need to load a thousand tabs, I would recommend doing it in a batch file. I haven't seen the memory spike over what a 64 gigabyte DIMM kit would be able to offer you. And do you need 96 cores for this? No, not at all. Uh, now, can you actually browse around on any of these tabs? Yeah, you can browse around pretty uh, easily. And these are not pre-cached. Uh, I can go to any one of the pages and it actually is fairly responsive. We still have a huge density of tabs up here. So what I think the ultimate upgrade is for somebody who is a hardcore tab fiend is very likely a 8K solution. That's gonna actually give you a ton of tabs that you would have access to at any point in time. This is not even the smallest resolution. This is not one-to-one -one that you're seeing right here. And it's displaying uh, roughly 300-ish right now. So you can fit a ton of tabs on your display. Not only that, if you value and have good eyesight or maybe corrected eyesight, you can fit an awful lot of the page onto your display at one time. You can of course zoom per page and that allows you to control how much you're seeing. Most of the web is not crafted around having a 8K display. So zooming in is something you would definitely be doing in that scenario. But I'm using the Samsung 900 a, this is a 8K TV and it does 60p. It also does 4K 120 when I'm gaming, but I do use 8K for my desktop mode. Granted, I zoom it in a bit more than what you're seeing here because it is uh, too small for my eyes, even with glasses. Now that could change with somebody else, but for me at my age, I think going at about 200 uh, zoom is roughly about where I'm at. So I have the display completely set to 200, but it makes for a very workable environment. And also I can fit, if I need to, quite a bit of information on the screen at one time instead of having multi-monitor setups. You know, uh, it, it still is, uh, it's giving me some anxiety, I'll say that. And if you look, I can show you why. Like I have things broken down to like research and then I've got like, topics like Nextcloud. And then I even have things around like installation, AI, apps, search, security. Like I like to organize things. Like I said, maybe I'm just channeling some old boomer energy. If there's a better way, tell me now. I'm not sold on keeping a bunch of browser tabs open myself, but if you are, you don't need a 7995WX. I think you could go for a way lower end system and still have amazing performance out of it. But definitely having about 32 gigabytes of RAM does look like something you would want to do. And certainly there's a lot of good DDR5 systems out there and doubling that bandwidth makes things happen just a little bit quicker. But there is a latency trade-off. It's not super significant, I think, for website pages, but there is a slight latency trade-off there. Everybody have a great one. I will check you guys out next time. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below and check out the channel's history where we put together things like this, crazy AI rigs, and I show you how to install the software, configure things, and run your own in-house AI. Have a great one. Talk to you guys next time.